Okay guys, it's another day here at the shop, garage, backyard garage. <sighs> Sorry I'm breathing loud. I just went for a run, trying to get back in shape for summer beach visits and whatnot. But um, dude, I started the car on the stock fuse system because we're waiting for this six dash six an fitting uh it's from it's a, it's a dash six orb to a regular dash six fitting uh orb stands for it comes with a gasket right there where it mounts to the boomba fuel rail that way it don't leak fuel um we had to take off this one which was part of the stock fuel system as you can see um now the car did start i did film ahead well i did work ahead and didn't film but um we spliced in the connectors for the injectors um i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what i did how i did it uh because there's not really many accurate videos on how to splice in the connectors so this harness in particular all the connectors has a green wire i have a test light so i thought there was a positive and there was a negative and it turns out there ain't shit uh they're all negative according to my test light when i would put my test light on the negative terminal and i would uh, turn on the ignition it wouldn't show it wouldn't show any positive on any of the damn connectors so then i switched it over to the positive terminal and then i'll put the test light on the wires but they were all turning on green which indicates negative so i just kind of said fuck it i sent it um i just connected the red wire to the green wires because green is the only wire that all the connectors have in common the second wire changed color so i just stuck the red one to the green one I did all the reds with all the greens and the black ones with the other wire left over. Um, soldered them. You always, you want to solder it for a good connection and um, heat shrink it to keep moisture out. And whenever we were splicing this one, my dumbass, instead of grabbing the, instead of grabbing the connector from the wire, strip it. I grabbed the connector from the fucking connector head and now I completely tore out the fucking wire. And uh, I had to order another set of e EV1 connectors and those are all on the way. So we can go ahead and splice in this, con this uh, injector. But dude, we started this fucking car. Oh my God, guys, this shit's incredible. Like it chops, like if it was like a 350 LS motor, Dude, this thing chops fucking wicked. We still have to plumb the vacuum route. Um, we still need to fix that injector, but it started on three injectors and this thing sounds fucking wicked. Like, I, I shed it a tear or two maybe, but dude, this fucking car sounded wicked as fuck. Like, I'm sorry for the explicit language, but this thing was just fucking crazy, guys. And it hits harder whenever you know you're working so hard to make this shit happen. We made it happen. I did uh, reroute the solenoids. I uh, got rid of all that rubber shit from factory. And I used my own vacuum lines. Um, always, you always want to put a small zip tie to keep it from popping out during pressure. Um, we did plumb the, the turbo. And now we need to plumb the fuel system. And we need to plumb the vacuum. Um what else plumb the fuse stem plumb the vacuum and this hose right here guys i think i need to cut it a little bit more because i don't have the stock radiator anymore i don't know if the stock radiator is a thinner version if it's the case i'd rather go back to a thinner radiator as much as i like that chrome looking thing <laughs> but um I'm gonna buy a stock radiator hose and cut it and see what it does. Um, 
I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm not really trying to spend the funds on missing any shit like that. I want to put it all towards the build. And then once it's running 100%, then we'll slowly start buying more stuff like new hoses. These are HPS. They're pretty good hoses. Um, but like shit like that, I can like slowly change. Uh, for now, we're going to put distilled water in the system just for now. Because if I do decide to drain it or whatever, I won't spend all the antifreeze. Antifreeze is more expensive than this distilled water. But um, I do want to put water in it. We have, we have a oil cooler delete kit from MPX on the way as well. I got to plug up the old water lines. And then we can fill it up with water. Otherwise, it's going to fucking spill water all over the floor and make a fucking mess. But um. I do want to say something. Uh, we have the pressure regulator. We have uh, that fit and already came in and we have the fuel system over here. And see, man, Johnny Boost. Good fucking job, man. Good fucking job. This is amazing. I like to spend my money on good stuff like this. Well, I don't like to spend my money, but when I do spend my money, it's on good shit. I know I'm a firm believer of you get what you pay for. And right now, I got what I paid for. It's good quality material. And Sorry, guys. I'm looking for a fucking hose. Oh, and we replaced the mirror in the Hellcat. Anybody needs a Hellcat mirror? Let me know. Lightly used. <laughs> Don't low bomb me. I know what I have. Um, let me look for that damn gas line hook, guys, because I'm about to trip out if I don't find that motherfucker. Let me look for it. Okay, guys, so I'm a rather be safe than sorry type of person, so I'll put a little bit of pipe sealer on my threads there. And uh, as you can see, this one's labeled to rail, which is the rail. I'm going to take off the tags after everything's hooked up because I want to go after every connection once everything is hooked up. <sighs> Avoid gas leaks. Avoids, uh, to avoid gas leaks and just to avoid a fucking mess or avoid anything to get ruined. But, um. Uh, so you can see, I need to route something. I'm gonna get a longer hose as well. Okay guys, so I've been ranching along. Uh, I think there's our stopping point. Don't get Harbor Freight gloves. At least not the blue ones. They have a gray one. They're actually a little bit more tougher. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Uh, we did the oil delete kit already. Um, oil cooler delete kit. Sorry. Not the oil delete. Because we need oil. But the oil cooler delete kit. From MPX. Um, we had to get underneath the car. To uh, do the oil delete kit. Damn it. Oil cooler delete kit. As you can see, right there, that dot right there, it's a plug for the coolant. You delete your coolant stock lines from there. And if you go a, and if you go big turbo, they provide you with another one right there. So this one right here, guys, you're gonna struggle to fucking put it on. The one I got provided by MPX, I dropped it, and there's no, damn it. It's nowhere to be fucking seen. But I was looking around the stock oil pen, and guess what? This one is the same size. So I took it off my, oil, my other oil pen, this is the fitting that came off the, the stock line. So this is the one you're plugging. And um, I compared to 
I compared the, the threads, and sure enough, it's the same fucking thread. So I just pulled it out of my old, old pen. Um, I'll message Model Performance, maybe they can provide me with another one after I bought so many parts from them guys. Uh, and if they do, cool shit. Um, now I just plug that thing back in. Uh, I had to remove my tire, my fender liner to get easier access. Uh, this is the setup of tools that I was using. A swivel and like 300 extensions and a swivel head ratchet. But we got it in. Now I have to take off my catch can from there. I ain't going to longer use that catch can. I'm going to see if I can rip. Uh, rip. I'm going to see if I can um relocate it. AGP does. Damn it, guys. Give me a minute. I dropped the nut. AGP does offer a um another catch can that goes bolted on right here. And it goes in here. Really cool. But this one's pretty damn neat as well. I just need this bracket to relocate my coolant bottle that AGP provided for me. Which is this one. And um, I have to mount it here for my coolant. Uh, let me go ahead and do that, guys. And um, then we're going to probably be in the stopping point. I'm going to put a video for you guys together and uh, upload it. And um, I'm going to fix and order my big old, my big inner. I can't talk. It's two in the fucking morning. I'm going to order my big intercooler, the piping. Uh, next video, we're going to do the fuel system. I have fast got it mounted. And uh, I just need to go ahead and bolt it down as well. But um, let me do what I got to do here. And then I'll stop the video, guys. And I will upload something for you guys. Because I'm just ranging along and not uploading shit. Okay, guys. So we already put coolant in here. But I can't stop the car yet anymore because... I already removed the stock fuel line and stock nut. Yes, I could put the fuel line and the nut back on and give the car a start, but uh, that's not the case. Well, let me see. All right, guys, so we're back at with the neon. Oh shit, my space. But uh, we're back with the neon. Different day, same video. Just making portions of it, guys, because it's kind of hard to do everything in one day. We already put the wiring harness, the rewiring harness from Johnny Boost uh, up against, we already tied it into the alternator. We had the fuel lines zip tied to the stock ones. Really nice kit, uh, tucking them in and shit. Um, we're taking out the stock fuel pump, as you can see. All crusty and shit in here. Uh, replacing it for this nice one from Johnny Boost. This dude is a, a fucking stud. 450. Uh, we're trying to do the 525, I think, from the Hellcat. But uh, in my opinion, guys, I think that's overkill. Uh, the transmission is built by DCR, and the motor probably can handle big power, but I think the transmission can hold less than the motor itself. If anything, we just want this car to be a fun car with a little bit more of power. Um, it's definitely going to beat the Hellcat because power to weight ratio. Uh, I gotta put my gloves on, man. That damn fuel will corrode. Well, not corrode, but it will dry the shit out of my skin. And it's not very fun whenever you do construction work. But um, we're gonna have to take out the fuel pump. can see that little ass sock um little as shit 
Then we have this bigger one from Johnny Boost. Um, same thing, drop in fuel pump. You got your center level right there. But, uh, trying to see something. I want to see if these uh, teeth. Okay, so that's the sending unit, which it reads in your side of your car to gauge the fuel gauge. But um, this is the stock pump. And when I say it's stock, it's stock because it's been there for longest. You can look at that damn sock right there. It's all crusty and black. Then we have the new one over here, a little bigger. Let me drop this in there, guys, and uh, I'm gonna clean this ring and put it on. And uh, Johnny Boost does provide his own seal as well, like any other fuel pump would. But um, this guy has a badass kit, guys. <clears throat> Okay, guys, so when you install your new fuel pump, you see this little, this little damn poke out, whatever you call this shit, a tooth, a little dick, whatever. Um, there's a little cutout right here in your tank. So you see how this one goes in there? Well, that has to line up there. Uh, then after that, you put some WD-40 on your ring. You slap it on there and you tighten it. Why, why WD-40? It's lube. Otherwise, you're not gonna get nowhere without the lube. Um, spray it around the ring. Then you just let it fall off. Then you just grab it and start it on here again. Like so. Let me go ahead and, I need two hands for this shit. Let me go ahead and tighten it up. Now I'll show you how the wiring works and how to put your tank back up. All right guys, so. We just did a, a start, a try start, whatever you call it. Uh, we snugged up every fucking fit we can think of. No fuel leaks. From my knowledge, I didn't see nothing. We ran it for a good while. Um, now the goal is to hide the relay and the fuel, the fuse box. Uh, I think I'm gonna hide this. Probably like a self tapper. Sure, I'm gonna hide this shit, but uh, it needs to be somewhere where it's safe. Um, honestly, I might just really put it right there. Let me get a cell tapper and uh, we can zip tie some of this shit away. Um, you can see, Johnny Boost labels all his um. His uh, harnesses, um, really good quality fuel system, uh, the best bang for your buck. And uh, let me uh, wrap up what I got going on here. I did discover a little fucking leak. Uh, it's for my heater hose. I'm about to take off the intake manifold and um, pull it up and fix the fucking leak. But uh, luckily it's just a coolant leak and not a fuel leak or oil leak. And uh, I think we're looking pretty good, guys. I wanna tighten up everything that I already got started. So like whenever the intercooler piping does come in, I don't need to move out cars or anything. As you can see, the Viper's outside, the Hellcat is outside. And um, I got all the space in the world. So I just need to 
put my tire back on, hide away those cables, the relay and the fuse, put my fender liner back on. Um, and we're looking pretty good, guys. Um, for some reason, it did start or idle a little smoother this time. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because the fuel pressure is uh, the fuel pressure is lower because with the stock one it was like over it was like between 55 to 60, so it was way too much fuel. Um, and the car ain't tuned yet. It just has a powerhouse performance tune from where it was on the stock setup. Uh, we do have all this plumbed up already. Fuck. We do have all this plumbed up already, guys. Uh, next up, be the intercooler, intercooler piping, uh, boost box, so I can manage my boost by gear. And uh, then we're gonna hit up a tuner, ask him the gap of the spark plugs. We're gonna get the spark plugs. We're gonna ask how much fuel to throw at it. We're gonna come up here, boom, boom, throw fuel. And hopefully, cross my fingers, this thing holds up real good. I do want to drain out the oil just to see how it looks. Uh, should be good. The car ain't smoking. So uh, let me wrap up this guy so that we can close up this video and not put it back. To, I put it together for you guys and upload it. Okay, guys. So this is the final product. Johnny Boos. Damn it, dude. I, know I keep mentioning his name, but this shit right here is fucking clean. It's so easy, it's plug and play. You just gotta put a little bit of your effort, a little bit of your, yeah, a little bit of your effort, you know? If you like clean stuff, you're gonna do it clean and try to make it look cleaner than what the kit already is. So right here, I like how he made his bracket, uh, well, his relay and his fuse, where the fuse is like an L and the relay is just straight up. With one single bolt or self tapper, I secured my relay and my fuse. I used my ground from the. Uh, I'm assuming this is a sway bar link, but um, yes, yeah, a sway bar link. Um, I use this. So I won't injure another hole in my car. Good ground. Um, the fuel lines are all tightened up. Um, I zip tied everything. The slack from the power wire, I zip tied it to the fuel rail. I mean to the stock fuel line, sorry. Everything guys looks so fucking smooth. Um, nothing it's, or anything is hardly hanging. Um, I don't want to completely crush the wire either because that would completely fucking ruin it. So um, everything's pretty damn smooth. Everything is up there. Uh, we already started the car. Um, I did lower my fuel pressure a little bit to 40 so the car can like idle smooth because if not it's going to rev like a motherfucker and that's not good um but it sounds healthier i just need to plug in the fuel vacuum lines oh sorry i need to plug in the vacuum lines plumb the i'll fix that fucking coolant leak plumb the in the cooler piping get me my other oil catch can because this one i'm gonna try my best to mount it. Probably wanna mount it over here, guys. I just need a, I need a longer vacuum. I mean, a longer hose. Probably gonna stick it in here. But I just need a longer hose. Or, just a, I don't know. But I need to figure something out. I don't know, but I'm gonna figure something out. Um, coolant bottle, everything, guys, is going so fucking smooth. Like, I'm loving it. McDonald's, you know. Um, I'm loving it. After this, guys, it's pretty much just uh, the only thing that's keeping me from this fucking car to running right now. It's time. And damn, uh, mainly time. So I have parts, as you can see, all over the fucking garage, tools all over the garage. <laughs> the fuse system is completely checked off the list. Um, motor build is out the fucking list. Everything is just out the fucking list, slowly but surely. And, uh, damn, 
this is a dream come true. Um, I was already, I had a closet full of fucking parts, pistons, connecting rods, oil pump. Um, oh, and we need, to, we also need to do like the oil pressure sensor. The car does come with one, but it's just a light. It's not reading the actual fucking oil pressure. Uh, I do need to get that. Uh, I need a, the housing, the oil filter housing, MPX made a housing to where it comes with an MPT fit and you can put your sensor in there. And then you just run your wire inside the cab, like a signal wire, and it's reading the oil pressure. Um, I think I have the sensor. I'm just not sure if it's still good. Uh, this is the one I was running before. Yeah, it's right here. We're probably gonna put that on, guys. And uh, hopefully it still works. Um, put that on and uh, wire it. I'll get the boost box, hook it up, bring the laptop, download the software, and divide the PSI per gear. And then from there, guys, we're just gonna start tuning it. You don't wanna miss it. Or at least I don't wanna miss it. Uh, <laughs> If y'all like SRT4 content, keep watching. Any Mopar content, keep watching. Because we do have the Hellcat. We hit the, we do have the Dakota and we do have the Yellow Viper. Yellow Viper, not really gonna do much to it. Just make a little clean uh, stock Viper show truck. Uh, damn, these nets. The Hellcat, just for now, minor boltons like headers, tune, maybe smaller pulley, maybe a ported snout. Get the little numbers. Get the numbers a little higher than what they really come from in stock. But the main, main project, guys, is this car. Uh, I'm done for the day. Or I'm done for this video. Uh, I'm just wrap up the car, put the tire back on, put it on the ground. Um, we're going to tackle that leak next. Uh, that's going to be off camera because it's just a little minor leak. Uh, anybody can figure it out. But I just wanted to show you guys the fuel system product process. Uh, when you do the fuel system, guys, you want to do it with the empty tank. Because mine's like less than quarter tank and it was still a fucking bitch. But it wasn't that big of a deal. Like if it would, if it would have been fucking full. We do have a jack underneath to support it. And the whole nine yards. Um, the fuel rail is all plugged in. Uh, fuel injectors all wired up. Fuel pressure regulator plumbed, mounted, secured. It's uh, looking really good. Uh, I did want to delete the AC, but nah, it's a still a street car. <laughs> still a street car. Still a street car, guys. We're keeping fuel system, full interior, everything. Uh, I, I could really go all out, which I think I already did went all out, but I can go like completely all out, gut it and do all that other ratchet shit to it. But I don't want to gut it. End of the day, it's still a street car. It's something I would still take to work and my daily would have break, break down. Um, uh, what else, what else guys, but that's it, uh, I'm gonna put my tires back on, my spacers, so the wheels won't rub, but let me, uh, put my tire back on, pick up all my fucking tools, and I'll catch you in the next one guys, keep watching, uh, y'all like the content, y'all like to have the builds coming, I know I'm taking forever guys, but I promise you, I'm trying to fucking hurry up, and I'm not hurrying up, but I'm trying to go as fast as possible because my job like i said until youtube doesn't pay my bills i'm not really to worry about uploading videos i do have a job guys and it's monday through friday 4 a.m till god knows what time i get home sometimes 8 9 10 sometimes 3 my schedule is not flexible well it's not a it's not like a like a fast food restaurant where you can go to fucking work from uh, fucking four o'clock to three o'clock in the afternoon. You're home by five. That's not my schedule. We do go from uh, city to city, and uh, until we're done, that's the time we leave. Uh, so, like I said, guys, I do apologize for the inconvenience of not uploading frequently or often. Sometimes we're waiting on parts. Sometimes we still we're still trying to get parts, and I do have to work. I do have a life, and. Uh, until YouTube doesn't pay my bills, guys, I'm sorry. That's how it's going to be from now. Uh, maybe one day we can be something. We can be big. Maybe we can just maybe make side money with YouTube and I can still keep going at my job. 
But until now then, guys, I'm sorry. That's how it's going to be. Uh, that's enough talking. I already got you up to speed, and I'll catch you in the next one.